even though sometimes my humor would suggest that I am pretty young, I was once a young kid myself. A young kid who enjoyed quite a bit of video games. Quite a bit. Some of these games are actually still pretty fun to play today. <coughs> Zoom beanies. <coughs> but some of them are so mind-numbingly boring, I still can't understand why Tiny Me would even spend precious currency on them, let alone play them for hours on end. Well, anyways, here are those games. At least the ones I could dig up from my basement that could play on my computer and that Camtasia could record. Enjoy! One of the first computer games I ever played was called How Many Bugs in a Box, which my grandma gave me when I was really little. But the disc isn't inside the box, so deal with it, you guys get Blue's Clues. Oh, hi! When I was little, I remembered watching the TV show Blue's Clues, and I think Steve was officially my first celebrity crush. I mean, look at those stripes. Anyways, I think this game was a hand-me-down from my cousins, because I got everything from them when I was younger, and at the time, it was the coolest thing ever. Maybe not so much now, considering I can read. But in any case, it was very memorable for me. I can still hear the soundtrack repeating in my head, and certain phrases of dialogue. Which leads me to this. Did any of you guys totally memorize, like, one line from a movie, and just repeat it so much that you, like, memorize the tone and pitch and everything? I did, and it was weird. Now let's talk about the actual game. The game is not as fun now as when I was young, but it still seems like it would be fun to play as a child just learning to read. The only thing I really enjoy about it now is the nostalgia factor. Basically, the plot is that Blue needs to find words for his word book, and apparently they can only come from completing these simple minigames, which include one about rhyming, matching shapes, recognizing letters, going on a freaking safari, and literally clicking on every letter in the alphabet in order to get to shovel and pail, and then getting to print your results! Yay! It's upside down! Ah! But seriously, what is Blue doing to those letters to make them blue? Is she peeing on them? Bad doggy. <laughs> you can also check the mail and get letters from a mysterious person who knows your name and likes to name everyone's favorite colors. Blue's favorite color is blue. Oh wow, I never would have guessed that. Thanks for the info. But after you get some words, you put them in your word book, and they give you complete freedom of what order to put them in. And Blue will draw a picture that goes along with your sentence. I think I did a pretty good job. The mom was very loud. Pepperita hid under the dad. But then when you leave, Smexy Steve over here tells you how awesome you are. <laughs> These stories are so funny. You know, I think you may grow up to be a famous writer. And then they sing this song, which I'm pretty sure is from the show. Now it's time for so long. But we'll sing just one more song. Thanks for doing your part. You sure are smart. You know, with me and you and my dog Blue, we can do anything that we want to do. We can do Anything that we want to do We can do anything that we want to do Bye-bye. See ya. Thanks for coming. Me, <laughs> 